it's just funny that no matter how much I plan, no matter how careful I am, no matter how many contingencies I plan for, shit's still going to happen to me. <laughs> no matter what. Oh, but that's the way it is. You know, uh, I should expect it. Everyone else around me who knows me seems to expect, seems to know that shit's going to happen to me. Let me give you a new example. I'm getting ready to go to the Peace Corps. Uh, I've taken, I've planned, I've followed the checklist that the Peace Corps gave me. They were very specific what to do. And I was, I did everything and I was packed, ready to go. It's Saturday. I leave on Monday to go to Philadelphia for my pre-training. On Sunday, my mom is going to throw a party for me, a great big catered party. And it's, it's a big, big event, family, friends, everyone. And I got to pick the menu, which is really great. I love picking menus for parties, especially catered parties. And it's Saturday. Now, you may know that my father was a dentist, and a very good dentist, in fact. And he said to, said to me, Brad, let's go to my office and clean your teeth. I said, okay, that sounds like a good idea, Dad. And it's Saturday morning. We should be back in an hour, hour and a half, just driving there, getting my teeth cleaned, driving back. Okay. Should be back by lunch. <laughs> Little did I know. Uh, well, anyway, we went to his office and he's cleaning my teeth. Everything seems fine. And then, uh-oh, he looks at my teeth carefully and he says, Brad, you're in trouble. Your wisdom teeth are impacted. And right now you don't feel anything, but in about six months you're going to feel pain. And you're going to need to have your teeth removed. And you don't want your teeth removed in Cameroon in six months. We need to get your teeth removed now. And I'm like, do we really? And he says, yes, Brad, we really do. You don't want this problem in six months. So I said, Dad, what do we do? Well, he said, um, let me call my friend, Dr. Rose, the oral surgeon. I knew Dr. Rose. He had pulled several of my teeth when I was younger. But Dr. Rose happened to be working that Saturday, and he had free time for me. So I'll... We went over to Dr. Rose's office, and the next thing I knew, Dr. Rose was looking in my mouth, and he said, yep, you need to have your wisdom teeth removed. So next thing I knew, I was under the gas, counting backwards, 10, 9, 8, I probably made it to 6 or 5, and I was out. Next thing I knew, I'm waking up, there's my dad and the dentist and the assistant, and they're asking me, are you okay? I'm groggy and all. If, if you have, any of you have ever been under gas at a dentist's office, you know how it feels. And he just had four wisdom teeth surgically removed, so my mouth was all bloody and swollen. But I guess I was okay. <laughs> what else could I say? And I told my dad I was fine. I told everyone I was fine. Okay. Uh, the dentist gave me information about what he did. Um, he knew I was going to Philadelphia for my pre-training, so he, he gave me information for a dentist in Philadelphia. And um, he also gave me information to show the dentist in Cameroon. Uh, I would see the, the Peace Corps had a dentist that they use in Cameroon, so I would see that dentist once I arrived there. And so um, I went home. Uh, my dad and I went home, and everyone was shocked when I went home. Several hours later, not an hour later, um, I went home. I went to sleep, slept the rest of the day, as far as I can recall. Next morning came, party began, and we had a wonderful time. And lots of people came. Uh, I couldn't eat anything. I was, I was, I imagine I was taking lots of Tylenol or some sort of pain medicine to control everything. But I was not very comfortable. But it was fun. It was great seeing everyone. As you can see from the pictures, I'm wearing the white and blue striped shirt. Maybe you can tell my cheeks are a bit swollen. Uh, I had a nice time. Say goodbye to everybody. Um, a couple tearful goodbyes and all I was off into the unknown. And then um, next thing I know, it was Monday. I flew off to Philadelphia. I had my pre-training there, got some um, injections and everything, uh, some vaccinations. Saw the dentist in Philadelphia. The dentist said everything was healing fine. I uh, finished the pre-training in Philadelphia, flew off to Paris. Then we uh, changed airplanes, flew down to Cameroon. And then, Lo and behold, in a period of a few days, I went from nice sheltered Beechwood, Ohio, to the, the city of uh, Philadelphia for a few days, to the the skyscraping, skyscraper rainforest of Cameroon. What an experience. Have you ever had such a dental emergency as this? Let me know what you think about your dental issues. <laughs> Thanks.